do match. Um, so now we want to say uh, row equals dollar sign, uh, or we just want to say MySQL underscore fetch underscore sock. So we're going to use the MySQL fetch associative array, and inside of here we just put our query variable, and below it, below this, uh, we create a variable called it db code. So db code equals dollar sign row, and then we have bracket just like we're using the post or the get method, and then inside of here we say code. So, um, so we want to make sure that the code. Um, we're, what we're doing is we're using the fetch associative array, fetch a sock, um, to get the code that's in the database. And what we're going to do, and that's how we get the code that's in the database right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our codes match. Um, now this echo right here is going to say your code was or your activation code was incorrect so just like that and after all of these I forgot the form variable so just like that okay so um, I've already gone over my 10 minute limit so this is just going to continue on and going to be two segments for this part um, so form so inside of this if statement, we want to say if dollar sign, oops, if dollar sign uh, code equals equals dollar sign db code, whoops, dollar sign db code. So if our codes are the same, that means we can actually activate the user. So we can activate the user. So what we want to do is we run a query. So mysql underscore query and inside of here we want to say update try to throw in a little bit of space here so update and then we want to say users which is the name of our database we want to set um, active to um, one so we want to one so we want to set the active the one where username equals and then username, so our username variable. So pretty much that is just going to change the active value for the user that um, is, is being activated. So we're going to activate that person, that user. Okay, so then our echo right here is just going to say that uh, the user has been activated. Um, your account has been activated. You may now log in. Uh, click here to log in. And then I'm going to make it a link. And I know I'm off screen, but. So I'm just making this a link. A href equals. And this is going to be login.php. So we're creating it a link and we're just displaying it. So that pretty much is our activate page. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to FTP this file up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I FTP the file up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh this page. So I'm going to refresh. So we have our page actually displaying and we have our code inside of here. But it's not displaying our entire code, which I mean, you might want, you might not. Uh, but I'll show you how to change that in a minute. Actually, We'll just do that now. Uh, I'm going to scroll up to our form, and we have our activate code. We want to set a size to, and um, eh, I'm going to change this to my activate page, so I can go ahead and see the size. And I'm going to say 50, which I know is going to be really, really big. So that's that might be too big for you. I'm going to set this to, whoops, um, whoa, there we go. Um, I'm going to say 40, see what that looks like, okay, maybe 30, okay, 30 is good, I think I'm going to go with 30, and I'm going to go ahead and just leave the other ones the same, and I'm going to FTP the file back up.
Okay, so I'm going to refresh the page, and we now have our code displaying completely. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my info, so uh, basic nick, and I'm going to type in my password, just like that. Um, we spelled did wrong. Um, so, what was it, was that? So, obviously, it thinks we didn't fill in the form entirely, which means uh, I spelled something wrong. So, first thing, I'm going to fix that did right there. And so, apparently, we spelled something wrong. Uh, username. Password. Oh, we spelled password wrong right there inside of the if statement. Oh, I am going to just not pause it because I have a dual monitor set up and come over to my other monitor. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to refresh. Whoops. Um, I am going to copy that link. Or actually, I'm just going to say that. Redirect to it. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. Put in my info. Hit enter. Your account has been activated. You may now log in. Okay, so that concludes the uh, user activation and the email activation. Um, in the next video, we will start on the uh, uh, the user login. So we'll be able to actually log people in. So check out the next part of the series.